Hello and welcome to the 14th Weka Machine Learning Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the Java API of Weka. So, so far, we were using the Java Explorer or Experimenter, the Java Graphical User Interface, but there are some other things uh, you, sh you need to do when you are doing some research on machine learning with Weka. So in that in those cases, uh, all the time you don't have to rely on graphical user interface because graphical user interface just provides you some results and some outputs and it's always beneficial to use the Weka GUI uh, at the very first stage uh, to see to make some sanity test on your data whether or not uh, the use of the classification algorithms. Uh, is going to utilize what you are trying to utilize. So uh, in that case, you can always uh, use the uh, Weka GUI for getting an overview of your data set, how the classification algorithms are performing. But when you are finished with that, this is always necessary to provide Weka the R file you produce, the features you are extracting from your data set, and and uh, let Weka decide uh, on the classification accuracies, precision recall, F score, tenfold cross validation, and so on. And after doing all those stuffs, Weka should give you back the result sets or the instances or the classified instances, the model that it built uh, from the training instances or the from the tests uh, from the training instances or the for, or from the uh, validation sets. So after providing you those uh, those results, you should always plug into those results to another one. You, you never know. But with GUI, you just you just have the results uh, shown on the result output pane. So in order to make the use, the make best of use of those uh, results provided by Weka. This is always handy to use the Java API provided by Weka. And this Java API is very, very powerful and it can do almost anything that you could do with the experimenter or the explorer tabs of Weka GUI. And it offers more than that. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can download the Weka Java API and how can you how, how you can use that uh, in, in your Eclipse Java IDE. So for doing that, you have to uh, download the JAR file, Java Archive file provided with the Weka uh, Machine Learning Workbench download sites. So we can, you can always go to this site www.cs.ycado.ac.nz slash ml slash Weka and if you click on that then you are provided with a page like this so on the left hand side you can see that we have a download link we click on download link and we are served with a page just like this downloading and installing wake up so you scroll down you can see that there are several releases stable book third edition version that's a data mining book that talks about Weka installation and use. And you scroll down, you can find Windows 86, 64 versions, Mac OS, and other platforms as well. So this is the installers of Weka. These are the installers of Weka. And then we have the developer version for Windows x86 and the 64-bit machines, as well as for Mac and Linux. And you can always find the old versions of Weka at the SourceForge website. So for the purpose of getting the JAR file, Java Archive file, so that you can, you can add that uh, Java Archive file to your Eclipse ID uh, in order to use or in order to incorporate with the Java API of Weka, you go to the developer developer version section and then you can find other platforms Linux etc and 
here we have a link to download the zip archive containing Weka 3.7.7 so we click that and it will redirect you to the source sourceforge website and you have to download it to any place at your uh, computer so now we have downloaded the Weka jar uh, Weka 3.7.7 .zip file, you have to extract it uh, with WinZip or WinRAR, whatever software you have. And after after extracting uh, the zip file, you can find a folder just like this, Weka 3.7.7, click on that. And you will see several files. These are all required for some experiments. Uh, for your research, but I'll particularly be interested on this jar file, weka.jar. So now we are opening Eclipse to incorporate that jar file. And in Eclipse, uh, you can you can go to the file menu and then you hover on new, and we are creating a Java project here. So I'm going to name the Java project as Weka Machine Learning Workbench and I click OK. And this is the project I just created. Now I right click on that and I go to build path and add external archives because we are trying to add that jar file and jar file is actually a Java archive file. So we click on that and you can see that I'm, I'm into that folder, the folder I just extracted with the WinZip uh, software and I have the weka.jar file. So I double click on that and it's now in my uh, reference library. So that's, uh, that's it. And uh, your weka.jar file is now in your reference libraries of Eclipse IDE and you're good to go. Now all you need to do is you have to write down some codes so that uh, this, this, uh, this uh, project runs and you, this project will allows you to interact with the Java API provided by Weka.